I am at Mondello Park. I know I look like a thing with a helmet on, but I'm about to drive very, very quickly in a BMW M4 with the column here. Who's an instructor at Mondello Park. That's why he has such a really good helmet and I have such a really crap one. <laughs> so go over and over again to get me a manual, isn't it? Right, am I sitting properly for a start? No point in putting your fist between the thing here. Got a helmet on. Change some this place, okay. Right. He's gonna keep me honest and it's starting to rain as well, so that should be really interesting. Yep, off we go. So the last time I drove an M4 in major anger was over in Portimao racetrack where it was launched and then um, here last year. This is a third gear corner as well in the M4. Yep. God, it feels so much bigger than the M2. I mean, every inch bigger. I know it is bigger, but it actually feels like it's wider on the track. Harder work. Oh, gear change. Back on the power for this little corner here. We took in for the hardest corner on the track, the track corner I hate. In all the years I'm driving this track, I still can't get that corner right. power off this than I do off the M2 though. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe I'm just unwinding the steering a bit quicker. Feels like them tires might need replacing soon. <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs> Come on baby. Still savage brakes in this given the weight. Amazing. Yeah. Really is such a capable handling car. Like, I always say M3 handles a little better if you want to have more fun more often. But God, M4 just punches you in the back as you're going down straights. Took it in here for my most hated corner. Have you ever raced in Mondello? Tell me about it. This corner's horrible. I know. <laughs> I'm not surprised you carry a lot of speed there. Into the gravel. Let's get it settled back in for this corner here and I roar around that. That's just amazing speed there. I've never gone off at Mondello. Is it a rite of passage? Should I go off at Mondello? Yes, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you don't today, but yeah. Sometimes upside down. Oh, no thanks. I'm all right. No roll cage in this. <laughs> <laughs> God, you have to feather it there. Ah, you do, yeah. It doesn't handle like the M2. No. You? you still get a punch in the back when you change gears there. It's amazing. Track's starting to get proper wet now. With that noise, lads. Can you? It's awesome. Come on, tuck in, tuck in, tuck in. Go on. Lovely. Oh, yes. Yeah, nice. I got those corners nice. You know you're doing something right when the instructor's gone a bit quiet. Yeah, <laughs> no instruction coming. Yeah, just yeah, spot on, like pretty much. gears when it screams. It. Big brakes. Put me a tiny bit more to the left, closer to the cone there. We'll put less pressure on you on the exit. It'll steer less. You know what that means. Yeah. More speed. More power. I think I finally got the hang of this corner. 
<laughs> yeah, you're Maybe wrong, it's just yeah. the M4 now. The trick is just make sure you get on the throttle just enough that you use out to the curb. If you don't reach the curb, you could get on it a little earlier. Then this one you nailed perfect last time. The key to this one is don't just straight line straight over. You've got to head over this way a bit and then over. Yeah. Straighten it out a little bit more. Then you carry an awful lot of speed through that car there are various of it. The amount of concentration it takes to drive fast on the track is amazing. Oh, yeah. But definitely keep that speed off the road, lads. Come to a track like this. This is the BMW driving experience day. You can sit where I'm sitting right now and have this man teach you how to drive as fast as you possibly can go to the limit of your talent right here on a track in a safe environment and away from people and streets and things. You can do this with a heads-up display and a BMW M4. Corner 120 kilometers an hour is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that motorway speed's coming through a corner. Yeah. Heading into a tighter one. <laughs> yeah. She gets floaty on the back, doesn't it? A little bit, yeah. When you hammer the brakes, yeah. And you give it proper socks. than the M2. Yeah. But not as much as the mini bloody Cooper thing, which <laughs> freaks me out. The car bounces around the road. And the wet doesn't seem to affect this car at all. No, not really. Not a huge amount. Still have to brake all the way up that hill though. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, it's yeah, a bit yeah. wetter than you think it is. The trick is with that one, brake at just the right point that when you turn in, the back of the car isn't in the air, you've just settled it. Yeah. yeah. Let's get off the brakes as quick. Yeah. Helps you with that corner. I am definitely getting faster because I'm like chasing up into fourth here on this straight. And I'm starting to sweat. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. And the aircon is on too. <laughs> it's amazing this car. Absolutely amazing. And the track in fairness to it. When you start to get the grips, I'm driving this track a few years now, when you start to get the grips of this track, it's such a technical track. If you make one mistake on one corner, the next set of three or four corners are dead. Forget it. Yeah. Nearly forget the lap like. It is a technical track alright, yeah. That's why when the Irish drivers go racing abroad we tend to do quite well because we're used to going around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good. Really short, really fast track. Remember when we had the Nissan GTR here? Holy God. Oh, yeah. It was pissing rain out there as well. It was horrible. That is amazing. I can turn off the wipers now. It was good. And I don't have to worry about that. Let it all cool down. Gearbox in end position. It's not possible to lock the vehicle. I'm not sure what that means. It's hot. Okay, that was the BMW M4 on track. You can check that out in Mondello.ie. You can be sitting right here and doing what I just did a second ago, which is drive at hideous speeds around the track. Um, and I'd be delighted if you did. 
Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the far side.